Hey everybody, it's Megan from Two Feet First and in today's video I'm bringing you a DIY project. I'm building a curtain rod with brackets for our living room for a fraction of the cost of buying them from a store. So if you want to see this project, just keep watching. So I told you that you can save money with this tutorial, but I guarantee you're wondering how much. And like always, the cost will depend on the size of the window that you want to hang your curtains. To give you an idea, a standard four foot window will cost about $10 for the materials. And you will have extra supplies to make more curtain brackets. If you need to purchase a metal pipe cutter, the cost will be closer to $28, but a curtain rod and brackets at the store will cost about $40 for the same window. So you're saving about $30 per window by making the curtain hardware yourself. And I'd say that's some pretty good savings when you add up all the windows in your house. This DIY tutorial was inspired by Lovely Etc. I had to give her tutorial a try, but she also shares a little extra, so be sure to check out her tutorial in the description below. Before jumping into making a homemade curtain rod, or even if you are just going to buy the curtain rod, you need to decide how wide you want the curtain rod to be. It's a good idea to hang a curtain tall and wide so that when the panels are pulled aside, they won't block the window. To achieve this, you want the rod to be wider than the window. But how wide should the curtain rod be? I suggest that you place a curtain rod bracket six to 12 inches away from the window opening. For this window, the spacing is 12 inches because it makes the window feel big bigger. After deciding on the placement of the brackets, take that measurement, multiply it by two, and add the width width of the window opening. But don't stop there. Add two more inches if you don't plan on adding any ends to the curtain rod. Now that you know what size of rod you need for your windows, you are ready to build your bracket and cut the rod. So this is what the bracket looks like once it is all put together. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here's the pieces that I used. I used a three inch corner bracket, a half inch screw, and a three quarter inch strap. First, I'll take the corner bracket and I'll place the strap underneath so that the holes line up. I'll take my screw, place it inside, flip it upside down, and tighten the screw. So I like to tighten it just slightly more with just a screwdriver. Then I'll look at the back and adjust it if needed. Like so. I'll take my wrench, place it on the nut. Take this screwdriver and tighten. Okay, and now the bracket is completely tight. It's not gonna go anywhere. And that is how you make the brackets. Very easy to do. Now what I'll do is I'll go spray paint them. The nice thing about this is that you can spray paint them any color you want. I'm gonna spray paint them black and I'll show you that now. You will notice that I'm using an A carton to hold the brackets, plus I have pushed the anchor screws through the carton to hold them in place while painting. I like to use a spray grip accessory when painting with spray paint. This will keep paint off your fingers. I also recommend two coats of paint per side. Now I'm going to cut the metal and so I'm gonna use is this um, tube cutter. I've never used them before, so let's see how this works. Okay, so I measured for my window. That's where I'm gonna make my mark or my cut. So I'm gonna take this. So 
So I've just tightened it as tight as it'll go. And then what it says on my instructions is to tighten it again. To make sure that it's not super sharp, I'm just gonna file it just real quick. Now that the rod and brackets are ready, you might be wondering how high you should hang your curtains. We already have determined how wide the curtains should be based on the width of the rod, but we haven't discussed the length. It's recommended to hang curtains higher than the window to make the ceiling look taller and the room feel larger. So don't hang the curtain rod at the bottom of the window. Give it some space, let it breathe, Try to have the curtain rod at least three inches above your window opening. And if your window has trim, let it have at least three inches above the trim. The higher you can go, the better. But do not place the curtain rod higher than 12 inches from the window opening or trim. It might look awkward if, it's, if you go too high. And remember to let the ceiling breathe too. So leave at least three inches of space between the ceiling and the curtain. In the window in this tutorial, I have the brackets attached three inches from the ceiling. So decide on how far the curtain rod will be from the window opening or trim before installing the brackets. The easiest way to hang a curtain rod is to create a template for where the curtain rod brackets should be placed. To do this, I created a template using cardstock paper. I used one corner of the paper to create a notch for where my trim would be. But I also cut the paper down so that the opposite corner of the paper would be 12 inches from my window opening and three inches from my ceiling to give me the placement of my top bracket hole. I then use the template on the wall to mark where the bracket hole will be with a pencil. I would flip the template to mark the other side of the window. To hang the brackets, I used a drywall anchor. I used the drill bit that came with the anchors. I did mark the bit with a black marker on where I needed to stop drilling based on the screw length. I then drilled a hole into the pre-marked spot on the wall while using a vacuum to collect any dust, but I also used the vacuum to clean the hole after drilling. I then place the bracket back at the hole and align the top hole to the bracket hole. Using a level to make sure the bracket was level, I marked the other bracket hole. Then I drilled another hole at this new marked location. I then hammered the plastic anchors into the holes. After I secured the brackets to the wall using a screwdriver and the screws provided that I had painted previously. After the brackets were installed, I placed the curtain rod onto the brackets. Now all that is needed is to install the curtains. And if you're wondering, ideally you want the curtains to be one and a half to three times wider than the curtain rod. So you would take the curtain rod measurement, times it by two, for example, and then divide that by two. But to make it easy, just buy two curtain panels the width of your rod. For my curtains, I used metal rings to hang the curtains, but you can use whatever you want. Thanks for joining me for today's project. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you wanna check out some more projects before you leave, there is a playlist queued up to the side that I think you'll love. If you're not subscribed already, I would love to have you as part of this community. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified of my future videos. And I'll be back next week with another project. 
Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time.